At some point, you should watch the new Assassin's Creed trailer. Oh, okay, I will after this is done. Everybody's talking about it. I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan, and people are still telling me about it. I played the first one, and that's all I played of Assassin's Creed. God damn it, they're jamming me! Wait, how many grenades do I have? There, I have 22 grenades. Let's, let's do this. Oh shit, sorry. I forgot to transition back into the regular scene. My bad! <clears throat> point of that hallway. Jesus. I see that the little vendetta has been played out to its conclusion. General! Brother! Once a loser, always a loser, eh, Snake? The last one standing is the winner! And that would be myself. Not you, not the Black Chamber, and certainly not America! I use them all, you see. Parker, Black Chamber. What? Weren't you sent to cover up Outer Heaven and Pro Project Babel? Or rather, the truth about Gilf and the U.S.? <laughs> Just like that woman. I don't know why he's Russian, because I can do his fuck, I can do a Russian accent. I can't do French or wherever the fuck he's actually from, or African. I can't do, like, an African accent. Gilf in the U.S. What, what truth? Don't ask stupid questions. Ha 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 ha! So you're nothing but a pawn, too. Just like Viper and his lot. There's a connection between Gilf and the States. An outer heaven? <clears throat> Fine. Okay, I'll just read him as me then. Fine, I will tell you all about if you win. Winner take it all. Loser relinquishes it all. That is the way of the world. And you will abide by it, Snake. Snake! Metal Gear must be destroyed. Take out its legs, first of all! Hit it with the with mines and C4! Oh, okay. Okay. Well, the, the problem with mines and the C4 is that the legs 
They don't stay down long enough. I have to plant the bomb where it's going to land and then detonate it or plant the mine, which takes a, a, a second as well. Yo, D20 Monkey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, all you D20ers. I do have followers only on, so if you want to chat, please hit that follow button. It's on follower zero. So it takes zero seconds or zero minutes, but you just have to hit the follow button. But welcome in, all raiders. I'm pretty sure it's set on follower zero. That looked like a fucking direct hit, dude. That looked like another direct hit. Am I am I out of my mind? damage. Fucking finally, what the fuck? That's just fucking ridiculous that grenades do nothing. Thank you for the 123 months. Okay. 
God damn it! Up and down, up and down, up and down. Get that fucking vest back on. There you go. Okay, now I gotta rely on this shit. Oh, that, that was way better, it seems. yet. Does it die or something? Okay, oh, it's, it looks like... Uh, or not. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, okay. It's uh, showing some progress. Oh, shit. I was, I was supposed to use Nikita's on the back things.
I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. I just save over that? Oh my fucking god. Whatever, it just saves time is all. Just saves me from having to collect all this fucking horse shit. Fucking long ass walk. Not yet.
Wait a minute, I can't even get... Oh, that's why. Fuck you. I'm not even getting this thing. Okay, load. Load save state. Load. There you go. Agent B Smith with another raid. Thank you, B. Thanks, B. Oh my god! Switch to the sticks rather than the D pad. We are loading. There. Okay. It's all good giving us up to D20X. Who now is 14 months? Thank you. And welcome back. Love easy. You just finished Metal Gear Solid 1. How goes it? It goes. It's just a little dumb.
fucking diagonal? They want me to fucking sh fucking god damn! They want me to do diagonal fucking grenade throws on on a fucking D pad. Fuck you. Oh my fuck! And now these fucking things in the back I'm supposed to target. That hit him, right? 
Is that, that must be doing damage to them. Man, without save states, this would be fucking. In, this would be fucking insane. Those fucking things. They're so stupid to fucking try and hit with a fucking grenade that I'm not even gonna try anymore, man. No, you like, it seems like uh, at some point you have to hit the turrets in order to bring the little things out. Oh, you gotta wait till you're fucking empty, huh? Or not? Oh, there we go. Now I need Nikitas for this, I believe. Oh, they don't appear on both sides, though. Do damage. Yep, it's doing damage. Okay. Ow! Right in my ass.
Oh, there we go. Okay. It was like, I thought it was done! All right. Terrible! Terrible! Guys, we did terrible! Nice work. Goody, thank you for the 10 gifted subs to James54, Mayo McNasty, Auspex D, Pudding, Pudding Kitchen, Mind Your KNP, Skelter Rancid, uh, Le Just. Lejos Apaldar. <laughs> That's a fucking tough one. Demented Hazard, Gimmicker, and Otono42. Hail Berserkers! <laughs> Thank you very much. I got one pour. The whole game. Everything was terrible except for one pour. So I think pour is the highest rank you can get in the game. Solid Snake. The name Legend may have been propaganda, but it seems no exaggeration. I want the truth. All of it. A winner's privilege. After all, you have the right to know. About Outer Heaven, Metal Gear, Project Babel, and the link between GILF and the U.S. Outer Heaven was a U.S.-backed venture that uh, provided mercenaries to its clients. It was a way to unofficially check anti-American forces, and the idea apparently originated with the DDCI of the time. The what? Am I supposed to fucking know what that means? Am I supposed to know what the fuck DDCI means? I looked it up, and it's just a software place, software company. Yeah. Yep, anyways. The DDCI of the generation, of the time. What? But the command, <laughs> he's not gonna answer, but the field commander, Big Boss, was a loose cannon that broke out of the program, and Outer Heaven was brought down by you. As a part of a plausible denial of their involvement in Outer Heaven, the government constructed a hero myth, handed you fo uh, and Foxhound to the international media. Oh, Deputy Director of Central Intelligence. Oh, okay. That is the truth behind your rise to the status of legend. Ha ha ha, shocking, isn't it? To learn that your glory was a staged one. And the connection between GILF and the U.S.? Even after Outer Heaven collapsed, the relationship went on, right into Project Babel. The U.S. provided covert support for GILF. I was their field controller. They can't support GILFs out in the open, that's for sure. The objective was a, a diminishment of anti-American forces in the African continent. Provoke an ethnic minority in Gindra into a calculated conflict that involved the other neighboring, na neighboring nations. Create a climate of hostility to discourage organized alliance, then, then send in a contingent of U.S.-dominated peacekeeping troops for an indefinite stay where they can exercise control over the entire region. It was a bid to build a new world order in the confusion of the post-Cold War era, a means to establish the U.S. as the sole superpower, a single hegemony over an artificial babble, manageable chaos. This was Project Babel the brainchild of Parker, Army Chief of Staff. The return for my service services was a lavish reward and guarantee of safety. Take this. It's Orbit's gum. Your breath smells like you ate a tree frog. This disc, oh, it's a disc, never mind. This disc contains all that information that Parker ordered uh, that woman soldier Chris to destroy. It's all here. Proof of what I've just told you, including details of all bank transactions. There's enough dirt here to bring down some of the highest people in government. This is like a bomb ready to explode. This too is the winner's privilege. Do with it what you like. 
You've deceived your people all this time. Or you deceived your people all this time. Your followers believe in you. So does Sophie. Yes, Sophie. I left her, cruelly too. But still, she stayed with me as my lieutenant. But I never saw her smile after that. I didn't deceive them. I had no intention of being Parker's henchman in the first place. It was the aid I needed, and with it, I was going to break the bargain and build our country. The end justifies the means, especially when others have faith in the fiction. I only gave them the truth in the guise they wanted. Can a nation built by those means have any value? Ha! Ah, doesn't the world operate on what you call those means? Everyone just pretends otherwise. Justice and ideals are nothing but words, after all. And words are wind! Well, well. So this is the way dreams end. Well, it's not the worst thing. Oh, oh, we're not done? We're not done yet. We gotta get out of here before it explodes, maybe? Piper! I told you, it's not over yet. Viper, still. Thanks for saving me the trouble of removing the general. He controlled Metal Gear to the end. And I had the pleasure of listening to your conversation. And so finally I know the identity of Anonymous. It was worth the trouble of leading you all, oh, all the way out here. You? This was all a ploy to bring Anonymous out into the open, seizure of Metal Gear, leading you and Campbell out here to outer heaven, all part of the plan. What does the Colonel have to do with this? You don't know what he did. Your dear friend Roy, Roy Campbell was in command of Foxhound that night two years ago. The Colonel! I figured that when Metal Gear's history repeated itself and you and Campbell were pulled into the fray, Anonymous would have to get involved. Two years I have waited for this moment. Two long years. Damn it. The decision to call Campbell in to send me was made at the highest level. How could I have been involved in that process? This is how. Snake, we have a problem. The fifth black chamber. Wh wh hey! Colonel, what's going on? The fifth black chamber was right here. Who is this? Oh. Big Bride! Surprise, Snake. After I survived two years ago, I parted from the others and slipped into your side. I changed everything. My face name passed. To gather information for our cause. Everything I did was for this moment. Do, do it, Viper. This is it. Do it. Do it now. You're here. Do it. You may forget or refuse to acknowledge it, but our hell goes on. And it will go on until we destroy all of you, not just Anonymous. What did you just do? The bolts of vengeance! Preparing for nuclear strike! How can that be? Metal Gear was destroyed! You are a fool! Did you think Metal Gear was just an armored transport for a nuclear payload? What? 
the nature of this beast is an integrated launch system with real-time relay control of seven armed satellites. All with nuclear capability. The railgun is just a cherry on top. Armed satellites. Nuclear strike from planetary orbit? That's right. Able to strike any point on Earth without relying on ICBMs and impossible to defend against. You're going to murder millions of innocent people for your personal vengeance? Innocent. Grazing on spoon-fed justice and order con content to ignore what goes on behind the fine words. Their crime is equal to that of Anonymous. No, their complacency is what makes Anonymous possible. This strike is for my murdered comrades. But that won't be the end. It's never the end. This dialogue, this dialogue will never end. Never! This is a declaration of war against Anonymous. I've just activated the elevator! Oh. The elevator? Um, okay. Is that- am I scared about that or what- what? No! Not the elevator! No! Sorry, I'm just waiting for the ads to be done so anybody who's non-sub can see the end. Or, I'm, I'm guessing there's probably a half an hour more dialogue, so... Maybe we're not even close to the end, who knows? But it is a Game Boy game, so it does have its limitations. Alright, four, three, two, one... All right. <clears throat> Welcome back. Everybody who was watching the ads. I waited for you. All right. So Viper just activated the elevator. Oh, no. Right. I think. Once Metal Gear is out on the surface, its signals will be transmitted. And those seven satellites will enter attack mode. In 90 seconds. I will stop you. Okay, Snake. Give it your best shot. This is your last fight. Oh, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Come on. Do you think that I fight dirty? I use any means I see fit to carry out our revenge. We will have our vengeance no matter what. Okay, good. Not too far back.
victory in 66 seconds! My every move is a testament to my comrades' lives! Something, of course it is! I, I missed that, sorry. I will see retribution! Even if I have to crawl to deliver it, I've lived for nothing else till now! Do you think that I fight dirty? I use any means! Alright, we already saw that. Thank you, you're repeating yourself now, bro. We will have our vengeance, no matter what. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Terrible? Really? I've shut the controls down. There's no way to launch now. I'm out. <clears throat> I'm out. Snake, out. Peace. <laughs> How could I be beaten by you? Snake, how do you do it? How do you keep fighting? Living for what? Whom? In the name of what cause? It's over, my comrades. I did do right by you all. Piper. Oh. Snake! It's you. The general. I heard all of it. Including the part about Gilf in the U.S. You gross. I see. What will you do now? Stay here. With Gilf? <laughs> yes. Continue the general's work. Right now, I don't even know whether I loved him or hated him. I just couldn't leave his side. His ideals may have been faked. But they weren't empty. That's what I think. And there are, there are many here still who believe that too. We'll work together to build a country of our own for ourselves. This time with real ideals. Snake! Oh, I was just talking to Toby. No big, no big deal. It's her. Don't keep her waiting. I won't. Your hair looks really big tonight. Just wanted you to know that. Both of you. He called your name, you know. At the end. Dot. 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 <laughs> dot. 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 Did he? Snake! I got us a Jeep! Good work. 
Pat, Pat. Is it over? Yes, it's all over. Is it? <laughs> I just said it. Oh my God, this isn't going to work out. Hey, Sophie, do you want to take her place? Maybe she can have a... Maybe you'll have a better time with you. God, this bitch just fucking doesn't get it. What about her? She's strong. And she'll become even stronger. You don't have to go with her? To Gilf? Why? Nothing, really. Let's get out of here. Right. Wait, there's a the codec. Snake! Colonel, everything all right? Yeah, I put a bullet in McBride. <laughs> you? Snake, I owe you an apology. It's true that I was in charge of Black Chamber's termination. We were told that there was a terrorist group coming in. Secret liquidation on a dark night. Only when it was all over was I told that the target had been one of our own. An American unit. Was that the reason for your retirement? Yes. I lived with the guilt these two years. But when they hijacked Metal Gear, I was called in by NSA Chief Steve Gardner. The mission controller. So, you took the job to confront the past? A job which was offered to me with the alternative of making the incident public, along with evidence that I was who I planned, I was who planned the thing. Blackmail, huh? But how would Gardner know about that? Probably dug it up somewhere. He is a former CIA director. Former... DCI? Don't tell me. Seven years ago, during the Outer Heaven incident, who was the DDCI? Who was the D's Nuts CI? <laughs> now you got it! Gardner was the Deputy Director in Central Intelligence, alright? Weasel. He was the only- he was the one who organized Outer Heaven and the development of Metal Gear! Scissors? 61? Metal Gear used to be under a CIA control, like Viper said. Gardner was also the one who salvaged the Metal Gear you totaled from Outer Heaven and continued the development program. In other words, Project Babble was actually his idea. Oh my god. If you were wondering if this is a Metal Gear game, it is. It is. Definitely a Metal Gear game. Holy shit. But two years ago, Metal Gear was seized by foreign terrorists, and as a result of control of the weapon and the leadership of Project Babel was transferred away to Parker and the Army. And Gardner had Black Chamber erased to ensure their silence. Gardner is anonymous? Weasel, you're not. Under Gardner's direct command? <laughs> you guessed it, Sneaky. Sneaky Snack Snake. What? And another thing Gardner knew who McBride was from the beginning. What? Well, it was Mr. It was Gardner who leaked the intel about Metal Gear to McBride and Black Chamber to begin with. For what purpose? I s I see it. Gardner was setting up setting Parker up. Right. If Gilf seizes Metal Gear and goes out of control, the blame will end on Parker with his longtime aide to Gilf. And Metal Gear and Project Babel will return happily after uh, to Gardner's arms. Could he possibly have engineered Black Chamber's contact with Gilf? I don't know, but it could be. Uh, Gardner planned this whole thing just to regain Metal Gear and Project Babel? Oh, God. Weasel, if you're under orders from Gardner, 
Don't you have another job to carry out? To kill us all once a mission has succeeded? Sharp snake! That's exactly right! So that's the real reason a mercenary of your standing wasn't sent on the field. Right again! I'm about the only person who can take on the legend! Weasel! You're going to kill us! You're going to kill us? Question mark? Like I said, it's a policy of mine to earn my keep. How can you? So I'd like to say... But unfortunately... I kind of like you people. Especially your bleeding heart ways. Totally wrong for a combat situation. You're totally wrong for a combat situation, you know. It's been a while since I met people like you. Weasel? Get out of here. Go on. Cut it out. Quit it. I'll feed some story to Gardner. Probably get him only half my pay for letting you escape, but who cares? Are you going to be all right? You could be in danger. Are you worried about him? Are you fucking worried about this fucking weasel? What the fuck, dude? I know how to take care of myself. Wait, you decided not to kill us, or are you sure gonna be okay? Don't you worry. Thank you, weasel. You're thanking him now? I'll repay the debt someday. What? It won't, I won't be counting on it. If I could live the way you people do, maybe I wouldn't have had to let my brother die. What? <laughs> the colonel and the rest are all right. Good. Let's go. Do you need some spending cash while you're there? Do you want to borrow my car? How about a kidney? I had nothing around me that I could believe in shit. Not my parents, not anyone else. That's why I joined the army. It gave me a sense of right and wrong, of justice and purpose. But that wasn't the right way. Beliefs can't be borrowed. They have to be looked for and thought about by yourself. I have to face myself and start searching. And I will find it. That's good. But if possible, maybe I could make that search with you at my side. Yeah, I'd like that too. Really? Really. I came to outer heaven to settle a score with the past. That was what I thought. But that wasn't the truth. I realized that when I met you, what I really wanted was death. What I wanted after everything had been decided was for someone to take my life. I must have been afraid of seeing what was left standing of myself as I really was. Is that how you still feel? No. I think I want to live. Accept myself. Forgive myself. Life is worth living. Even if it hurts you. Even if you hurt in it. You taught me that. You were my salvation. Snake! Oh, God! You're embarrassing me! For fuck's sake. You got your B-Day coming up, Zeke. Uh, what say you and me to buddies turning you into... Oh, wait. What say you... To me and my buddies turning you into a, a human Chinese finger trap. No, after I watched Chasing Amy, I tried it once and it wasn't for me. That's why I decided to go back. Back? To the States? Uh-huh. Don't! There's no way they'll let you go. They'll be waiting for you, and it's probably Foxhound! I know that, but I have to go back. Why? To understand.
wrong, wrong game. Come, 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 fart bubble. Come, fart bubble. What a great way to end the game. Come, 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 fart bubble. Come, fart bubble. Come, fart bubbles in my mouth. Thank you, JLC. You're not sorry. Why we had to fight this fight. What it was that I did, and who Solid Snake was. I'm going to confront the faceless men who play chess with people's lives and hearts in the shadows so that I can understand, and they will confess. Every conspiracy they wove, every victim left on the trail of their private gain, everything. It's the only thing I can do for the casualties of their and my dirty war. Snake? Unless I do that, there'll, there'll be no forgiveness and nothing to find for me. Don't worry. I'm going back so that I can live. When I've made them pay, I'll be back. Will you wait for me? <laughs> no! No! A little late. I don't believe you now. After five dot or after three dot 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 dots, I do not believe anything you have to say. You can count on it. Oh, original planning and story by Hideo Kojima. Now. Oh, written and constructed. There you go. So it's just original idea and then written by Blah. I love that the guy who actually wrote this game came after Kojima. That's awesome. Fuck, they suck his dick. This definitely wasn't Kojima. Like, it wasn't that far off, Mangy Nine. It was wordy, it got fucking convoluted and weird. They were bringing up names of people we don't give a shit about for no reason. Sounds like Kojima to me. You understood what was happening? Well, I mostly understood. I was, uh, sure, okay, sure. I will say that I understood this game what was happening in this game more than I would say the other games. But it, they did ramble on about bullshit we don't care about, really. To wrap up the game. Kojima likes cum fart bubbles. Kojima likes cum fart bubbles. Who doesn't, though? Really? Who doesn't? So if you had to rank this to other MSG games, where would you put it? Is there one that I hated? Uh, pro oh, uh, probably ahead of page. Wait, um, what is it? What was the what was the co-op one that we did? It wasn't Peace Walker. Or what was it? It was Peace Walker. No, Peace Walker is the new one. Oh, Peace Walker was a call. Okay. So I'd rank it above Peace Walker and probably nothing else, I would say. Peace Walker just wasn't wasn't very fun, unfortunately. And it sucks because I had fun playing with you, Ty. It just the game itself wasn't that great. I'm codenamed Bat, not codenamed Terrible. That's nice. Codenamed Bat. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know what that means, but all right. Congratulations. Special is now available in the stage select menu.
okay, it lets you select chapters. Okay, look. Check this out. Terrible, 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 poor! Woo! Poor! Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. <clears throat> oh, maybe the difficulty is what decides what is a good or whatever, like, or, or like your score at the end. I bet that's what uh, you would have a, have a better, better luck getting not terrible if you do like hard. No, I did not complete the game on very hard. I completed it on normal. Someone told me like normal is hard enough. And it was. It was it was a good it was good enough for me. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to do the tutorial. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, yeah, those bullets are fucking disgusting. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> Well, there it is, Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. And honestly, good game. I, I mean, I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I completed it. It was definitely cool to, to play it like the, the old NES or, or it's, a, it's a Game Boy card. So, yeah. And if you, uh, if you hadn't seen it yet, this is the card that I got for it. Um... There we go. Metal Gear Ghost Babble. Game Boy Color. The, it's the see-through one. And, uh, they're, I mean, even the Japanese one was a little bit pricey, but, like, the American version, which is confusingly just called Metal Gear Solid, uh, the Game Boy Color <clears throat> Metal Gear Solid US version, uh, is, like, 200, 300 bucks. Yeah, it's fucking, it's, it's disgustingly expensive. Because it was just like, not there wasn't that many ported, I guess. And I don't see, I don't know why. That's better than like 90% of the fucking Game Boy games that I ever played. I played a bunch of bullshit. And like, I just got like, uh, um, um, I can't remember, forgive me for not remembering who shipped these to me, but I just got like six uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. And they're all like, just barely games. This was actually had a, had a, you know, good gameplay, good plot, the whole thing. It was actually not too bad, I'll be honest. <clears throat>